Hi guys, Luton here. And as you will know already now, Naval Strike is upon us. And uh, I just wanted to talk a little around that today. I also have some other things to discuss around that, including the Titan mode. Um, the other thing to mention, first of all, is of course that Second Assault is finally, finally arriving for us on PC. To be honest, it's been an insane amount of time, but it should be with us in a couple of days now. That's very good. Um, personally, I'm very much looking forward to Oman. Uh, it's the single reason that I'm looking forward uh, to Second Assault. I know that everybody's very excited about Metro because, of course, it's a, well, it's a bloody cluster fuck. <laughs> And uh, excuse my language, but seriously, uh, I think that's one of the main reasons why people are looking for it. Metro can be really good. Metro can be really good when it's played below uh, 64. But Oman is the main thing that I'm looking forward to in Second Assault. Oman, for me, has always been one of my favourite maps. Uh, well, it was one of my favourite maps in Battlefield 3. I think it just plays out particularly well. That map... This, I've, some of my most epic rounds have been on Oman and if you actually look back on this channel and search for it you'll see some really fantastic rounds that we had there. Of course there was always the problem that you could get locked in to the sea and so on and so on but I think with the addition of the attack boats and so on uh, we're going to see a little bit more domination coming from that carrier side so I think we'll actually have a better game overall so I think it's going to be much improved. Uh, but anyway, going on to the naval strike. Now obviously people are very excited about the announcement of naval strike, there's a lot to discuss around that. Um, it, it takes place in the South China Sea, we've got a few maps coming up, we've got four new maps, Lost Islands, Nansha Strike, Wavebreaker, Operation Mortar, and they have typically interesting descriptions, blow open a crashed passenger plane, capture fishing villages across lost tropical islands, drop a submarine on your foes as you infiltrate a naval base, uh, larger station stretches in the battlefield maps with Nansha Strike, storm abandoned cliffs, however that's going to work, get lost in the breathtaking vistas in Operation Mortar. It also says then, so Naval Strike introduces five new weapons, an amphibious hovercraft vehicle, ten assignments, the carrier assault mode, which is a homage and that's the key thing to the fan favorite Titan mode. Now if you never played Titan mode or you just are not aware of how it functions, basically each team has a Titan. Now obviously within the context of Battlefield 4 that will be an aircraft carrier and those of you that have played the single player will understand that model is in place so they will have that there. Now how they're actually going to enact it in the game in terms of multiplayer I don't know. Uh, in Titan in 2142 you could destroy it in various ways, you could basically just destroy it, you you could board it and set off the core which would destroy the Titan and of course you could also close the missile bays which kind of would destroy from within. So there could be multiple ways in which they're going to do this. Um, I think the most likelihood because of the homage aspect is that they're probably going to allow it to just be physically destroyed by maybe detonating key impact areas on the aircraft carrier itself but this will probably take quite a long time if you imagine quite a long conquest game that's probably I would imagine how that will play out or the boarding aspect the boarding aspect was always kind of dangerous because obviously you're kind of you really have to fight in it's kind of like rush you know but of course it's like trying to take that last rush base because everybody you know the, the, the enemy team are so defending on that and it's going to be a real battle to going to get in there and arm that and we don't know the kind of mechanics around how they're going to do that so i'm going to be particularly interested to sort of see how this works out but you know one thing that i was quite pleased about was that you guys will remember that months back six months ago perhaps uh, amongst some of the things that we had discussed on the battlefield roundtable and all this kind of thing we had actually discussed around the concept of if they brought titan mode back again because obviously there was a lot of talk about it at the time and if they brought it back how would they do that the obvious method was aircraft carriers and we actually mentioned this we mentioned this at the time so i'm very pleased that our kind of predictions there and our speculations kind of have rung true and come back again um with that said, am I massively looking forward to Naval Strike? I really don't know. I feel like I should be excited for it, you know? I feel like there's a lot of content there, sounds really awesome, the amphibious vehicles. Oh yeah, also additional gadgets, the three grenade launcher attachment for the assault class, <laughs> that's gonna, that sounds spammy to me. Uh, the anti-helicopter mine, an aircraft disabling projectile for the engineer class. As I've understood and kind of looked into, this is kind of like a ground activated mine that engineers can place down and then low flying aircraft coming in, it will kind of jump high up into the air and destroy. I think this was something that came in into the, uh, the Vietnam War, I think it was used. Um, Again, Jesus Christ, like, uh, helicopters have a bad enough time as it is with the insane locking, and we all know how it is, where you're in a heli, you're trying to fly around, it's just lock, 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 lock. And then it's quite often, as a heli pilot, what you will do to get out of that locking is drop it on the deck 
to, to get out of line of sight from those locks. And then what? Now we've got to deal with mines as well. But also, it seems a weird one, doesn't it? I mean, unless it's going to have a large area of effect, how is these heli mines going to function, you know? Because uh, you'd have to have a very specific point on the map for them to enact. Um, but again, I suppose maybe you could put them around like a key area and there's an off chance it's coming in. I mean, I suppose... If you had a helicopter, say for example, in obliteration, and you placed your mines around an obliteration target, and a hel helicopter coming in to sort of drop off a bomb carrier, that could work. So I don't know, but it just seems like, man, they're really ganging up on helicopters. But, um, yeah, so coming back to Titan mode, coming back to the naval strike, um, yeah, I feel like I want to be excited for it, but at the same time, I don't know. I think some a lot of people are kind of feeling quite eh about Battlefield at the moment. It's still continuing on. Uh, it's, it, I don't know, it's a difficult one. The latest patch has received generally not highly positive reviews. I can't personally say that I've noticed a massive change in terms of, you know, hit recognition and so on, that a lot of people are complaining about the crashes. I myself, you guys know that I've been quite sort of, uh, I, I've told you objectively about my experience with Battlefield so far, and the fact that for the large part I have not really had that many major issues, and yet since the latest update, um, I suffered some quite serious uh, crashes, and many people that I have spoken to that I play with have also suffered these quite serious crashes. And when we talk about that, we're not talking about just being kicked out of the game, we're talking about literal complete lockups, uh, where you have to just close it down completely, task manager it down. So yeah not so impressed with the way things are going on that front and then we've got all this new stuff coming in levolution no real specific mention of levolution here within naval strike as well so again was this again just a selling point you know for the initial release and then this is kind of something that's been toned back don't blame them to be honest on the back of everything else that's happening if if they're still trying to deal with these other issues but I don't know. Um, I'm just finding it kind of hard to get excited about these things, but then again, uh, I'm not a person that gets massively overexcited about things anyway. Uh, I tend to be quite kind of like, hmm, okay, you know, let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't get kind of crazy overboard. I mean, you guys know that I don't get too worked up about hype and things. I like to kind of just see how it goes, just let it happen. Um, and I don't sort of buy into all that, so I'm not going to be sort of like falling over myself, um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But nonetheless, guys, Naval Strike is on the way. I'd be interested to see what you make of it. Um, speculation that it's coming towards the end of March. If that's true, then we're going to be having Second Assault and then Naval Strike almost on top of each other, which again seems ludicrous that we had China Rising and then such a massive distance of time to Second Assault and then Naval Strike coming in almost on the back of it. So... Man, these schedules are all over the place, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of it. Obviously, you can tell I'm kind of 50-50 right here. I don't know. I, I've been feeling quite disillusioned, as some of you will know, lately. Um, but, uh, you know, let's let's hope it picks up. You know, maybe this will re... You know, I mean, Second Assault, for one thing, is going to be something that will kind of get me feeling it again, I think, because there's a bit of classic action there. Caspian Border is a great map as well. So maybe feeling it back on that. And then Naval Strike, you know, I actually think personally that the water combat aspect of Battlefield 4 can be some of the strongest. I mean, you guys know that I really, really enjoy Paracel Storm. I think it's one of the best maps in Battlefield 4. I love Paracel Storm. The way that that mood changes in the round and it's so dynamic I, I i you know for all i was just saying a minute ago about being kind of disillusioned with the game paracel storm sits out there for me as one of my absolute favorite maps paracel storm and siege of shanghai they stand out for me as maps that i absolutely enjoy i think they're so fluid and tactical in the way that you can play them and paracel storm as i say the kind of changing mood aspect if Paras if, if the new maps in naval strike have the mood and feeling of the battles you can have within paracel storm then then I think it's going to be a particularly strong DLC. So we'll wait and see. But as I say, I am not, you know, I'm not putting my bets on yet. I'm going to wait and see how things go down. Uh, we're just going to take it as it comes. Uh, but as I say, let me see what you guys think about it. Please drop your comments as always below. And uh, I'm going to be looking to discuss this a little bit more in the future and perhaps kind of uh, where we've gotten to at this point in time as well. So much more stuff coming up very soon, guys, including some Armour 3. I know you guys have been looking forward to some more of that. Um, also, I will be looking at Insurgency. I said this on my stream the other day. Now, you guys know I actually mentioned at one point that I wasn't so interested in Insurgency. I did 
didn't want to kind of get into too much at once but actually you know having looked at it and thought about it a little bit more I think this actually will suit my specific kind of style and the way that I enjoy things so actually I'm going to be looking into Insurgency I think it's something that could be kind of interesting and maybe I'll throw in a few videos there for you guys I also guys are going to have more Titanfall coming up now with the Titanfall beta going on I actually have been able to secure an Xbox One beta code all right now there's been a few things floating around lately there's been people posting crap on Twitter and it turns out it's not actually a code this is a legit code guys it will actually work all right um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the code you'll be able to see it on screen right now and I'm also gonna post it on my first comment on the video as well but here's the thing as some people have been doing what I'm gonna do is leave the last letter blank it's just gonna have an asterisk all right and you're gonna have to guess that last letter it's a letter of the alphabet okay so you can start and go through or just guess it at random the first person to guess that will unlock the code and get access to the beta all right so that's posted live now now obviously Obviously guys this is going to go pretty quickly so probably in a few hours time or later in the afternoon I'll take that code down again it's not going to work all right so if you go to use it and you try out the letters and it doesn't work chances are somebody's already got that access all right so thanks for watching today guys don't forget to put your thoughts about naval strike and I'll be having some more stuff coming up this week very soon guys I'll see you next time some more battlefield 4